<laughs> What's up everyone? You've tuned in to Unchained TV. This video will be on Heaven's Magic. Shouts out to you, family Gordy Green, for sending me the links to these two videos. Watch out for 666 and the other video, Kathy Don't Go to the Supermarket. And all of these videos, both of these videos by this band called Heaven's Magic, for all y'all that don't know, they made these videos in 1985. This was long before we were even thought of, some of us. Uh, and what they were saying, they were talking about the Mark of the Beast, pretty much. Like, they're, they're just, um, what was it? Revelations 13, 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should not speak, and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And that's pretty much us. Uh, the children of the Most High, the ones who defy the devil, defy his system, his matrix. We defy them openly. We are the ones that represent the Most High, Christ, and the Holy Spirit. Excuse me. And we'll be killed for it for not taking the mark of the beast. And it don't even it won't even matter what religion, it won't matter what race you are. None of this is gonna matter. And we move on to 16, and he calls us all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Now I've seen people get this chip in their uh left hand, but not the right. And I'll be wondering if that's like something to throw us off. And you've got uh, people, or there's people in Russia who saying they can't like, catch a bus or a train or something like that unless they got a C pass. I never heard of a C. I don't know what a C pass is. Uh, maybe y'all might want to fill me in on that. And uh, Ireland is in the front line of it. Uh, Germany, and you know it, this this chip like is for real being in this. It's coming. It's here. Actually, it's already here, man. Everybody's already getting it. And we move on to seventeen. And that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. And we move on to 18. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast for it is the number of a man and is and his number is six hundred three score and six. And that's just like that video, man. My, my encounter with Lucifer, how I went to the tattoo parlor and it was just. This guy's booth, his area, man, was nothing but pictures of Marilyn Monroe, how he was talking, how he was, you know, carrying himself and speaking. It, it just wasn't uh, of this world. And I was looking around and all, I, and all I, I saw a certificate and that that let me know that he he was Lucifer in the flesh, man. His number was 666. It was presented to me. I understood what it was. And oh, <clears throat> the mark of the beast. I'm not saying that it's the Vax. The Vax, that, it has, it's eerily similar. Like I said, it's eerily similar to how the Mark of the Beast is. The Mark of the Beast, you won't work. You won't be able to uh, buy anything. You won't be able to do all the things that you used to do in society anymore. And that's like the Vax. The Vax, man, they, they, they are using people's jobs against them. They're trying to, uh, if you don't get the Vax at a certain amount of date, uh, if you don't get it before the date, the end date of what when you're supposed to get it, you're fired. And they've done that to a lot of people in the medical fields. They've doing they've, they've done that to people at work um, in scrapyards. There was a guy who flipped out uh, when his boss told him to go get the uh, vax or you're fired. He flipped out and crushed like three three work trucks with the uh, tractor. Man, it was pretty crazy. But it's just so crazy how it's eerily similar to it. And <clears throat> with people being so dependent on the governments today, people, yeah, you got to look at things that people are dependent on, man. And you can tell that if the system was to collapse, like the majority of society wouldn't be able to survive. They wouldn't. What do they depend on? They depend on health care. SSI, SSA. There's a lot of people out there who really don't need SSI or SSA. And, you know, they put on these acts and whatnot just to sit back and collect money. And they don't even do anything. These are lazy people. These are people who don't need it. People who 
Others who really need it, they can't get it. But the people who don't need it, they end up getting it. Remember, this is Lucifer's world. Now, watch how all these things work. Money, stimulus. Everybody wants stimulus checks. That's the one thing that they got them people depending on. People have already got three of them. They're waiting on a fourth one. And as y'all can't tell by now, they're playing with you. They're, they're, they're dangling it over your head. They're making you beg for it. People can't survive without food stamps. EBT. They need that little extra uh, food money, unemployment, and the only, only reason why is because the jobs that we work today only pay us enough to function. It's the truth. And you got unemployment, people sitting back collecting that until they ain't got nothing left. And then they just be so lazy, they don't want to work no more. Or they go to work and they don't. They only last for a day or a week. Or until they get their first paycheck and then they're gone. And then you got the jobs. The jobs is how they, they use jobs to... Condition people. Most people are already slaves. They just don't know it, man. That's why they paying you so much money. You're getting a pretty penny. You're getting that over twenty dollars an hour. You're getting that sixteen hours a day, and you working six, seven days a week, and the money look good. You know that's that, that's how they blind you. If you can't see past the money, you can't see the truth. As long as you see all that money, you're not going to be able to see the BS that they're doing to you or what they're putting you through. And remember, I said this too, that the body or the soul is displaced when the body has been through a lot. And that's how they're doing to people, man. You look in people's eyes, you look at their face expressions, you look at their souls, you see that they ain't got nothing. It's like they don't have nothing to live for no more. All they know is work. All they that's all they know. Their dreams are shattered. They don't have any more dreams. They don't have anything to do anymore. They can't do anything because they they mostly go home, eat, sleep, wake up, go to work. Go home, eat, sleep, wake up, go to work. Go home, eat, sleep, wake up, go to work. You got friends that call you and say, "Hey, what you doing?" "Oh, man, I'm at work." "Man, you always at work." "I know, man. I don't know what to do. They just keep overworking me and all these hours. People don't want to work, so now they got to overwork us." You know, and that's how it is. You're already conditioned to be a slave. You're you're dependent. You're dependent, man. Convenience is like grocery stores or small supermarkets and gas stations and stuff like that. These are conveniences. These are the, these are places you stop to go and get what you want or sometimes you get the things you need. And most of the things in there are lab made, lab made food, man, like especially frozen. Like oh, everything comes frozen. That's everything's lab made. Everything comes frozen. It's like cryogenically frozen. And the only way you can cook it is if you throw it in a greaser, fryer, boil it, uh, bake it, put it in a microwave. It's all fake food. And then you got Section 8 housing. People depend on that. You People depend on so much from the government. The government got people dependent on everything, man. And like I said, I believe that if the system collapsed, I don't believe the majority of society would be able to survive. I don't believe they would. That's why I be telling people, man, it's better to live. Go live off the grid. Give yourself a test run because I'm telling you, it might come in handy. And learn and read up on some survival skills and tactics. Get the supplies that you need. This system ain't going to last forever, man. It's just like that one kid said in that movie, uh, Cabin in the Woods. You know, the little smoker guy. He was like, you know, society is cracking. You know, and then we're filling in the cracks. You know, and then, you know what he said? It's binding. We're filling in the cracks. You know, society is crumbling. People are just too chicken to let it. And it's the truth. People, I think pe people are too scared to let the system collapse, even though it's inevitable. There's no reverse to this thing. There isn't, man. And the Bible says so. There's no reverse. This is Lucifer's world, man. He's conditioning everybody to be slaves. You're going to be his slaves. You're going, you're going to want him. You're going to want this system. Everything I just read off of this, y'all are all going to want it. I'm talking to healthcare, SSI, SSA, money, stimulus, food stamps, EBT, unemployment, jobs, conveniences, lab-made food, Section 8, housing, and even those who are on OnlyFans. You need the internet for this. OnlyFans people who selling their bodies and selling sex. How are you going to survive if the system collapses? You can't, you can't, you can't eat or hunt for your food or do any of that just by twerking. Just by twerking, it's not gonna work. And that goes for men too, man. Strippers, all y'all. Y'all who only use your beauty and your body to make money to survive. 
Can you survive without the system? Because if you can't, then I'm, I'm sorry to tell you that you may be the one to take that mark of the beast to where you would want to. You, you can't survive on your own. That's crazy, too. How do people lose their basic instincts of survival? I don't understand how. Oh, wait, I, I just named it off. I, I just named off all of it. Too dependent on the government, a government that does not care about any of us. And this is happening all over the world, not in, not just in America, Canada, it's happening in the front lines. Ireland is on the front lines of this too with the chips. Germany, Russia. Like, people are out there getting chips right now. And just to let y'all know, this might sound crazy, but a lot of people in society, they are not real human beings. These are lab-made people, lab-made creatures, lab-made animals. You've got multi-dimensional beings who are transforming into the image of a man or a woman. You've got robotoids with synthetic skin covering them. You've got these lab babies, these baby geniuses that grow in labs until they grow up to be people. You've got all these things out here running around with us. With all of us. Every time we leave our homes and go out into the public eye, they're out there all the time. They're everywhere. And they know they know who you and I are. They know who we are. They see it. They're like, oh, we know who he is. We know who she is. We know who that is. We know who, they know who we are. It's like they can see. Th it's like they can see our souls, too. Oh, man, it's like they can see our souls. Lucifer's minions are everywhere. I've, I'm always in different places. It's so far away, miles and miles away to other places. And there's always these people I've never seen before that look at me like they want to kill me. I've never seen them before, but they look at me like they want to kill me. And when they're looking at me, it's like they 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 know. It's like, yeah, you're out here. You, you, you're you one of the most high children. You're trying to expose this and this and that and the matrix and the devils and demons. And I'm like, yeah, straight up. What you going to do about it? Our time ain't now. It's my time. It's not my time. Not yet, but it will be. But yeah. It's crazy, man. This, like I said, uh, the group, the band called Heaven's Magic came with this these music videos in 1985. We wasn't even thought of. It took about what was it, like 30, took 30 years for it to become relevant in today's world. In 2022, we see it all happening. We can't forget about those guillotines that Obama ordered. Don't forget about those. Don't forget about those millions and millions of disposable coffins that fit one or two to three bodies. Don't forget about this stuff. Don't forget about it. I still remember that vivid dream vision I had in 2016, man, where I was in this big building in a line. And in my left, I saw this, these cages of people in it and, they, and their hands were tied behind their backs. And as we kept moving down the line, you could hear people screaming and you could hear people crying. And then there was people who were taking the mark and some who weren't. And the ones who weren't, they were killing them. They were killing people in this building. They were using, they were, they were killing people in front of people. Like it was used as a scare tactic to force you into taking the mark. And the people who were walking in supposedly behind the most high and down for the most high. When they saw that, they hurried up and switched real quick. To Lucifer. At the end of the day, it all depends on what side you pick. Either you're on the most high side or you're on Lucifer's side. Religion don't matter. Race don't matter. All of this, the Messiah, uh, the Holy Spirit, the Father in heaven, Lucifer, the demons, the archangels, all of this stuff was here before man created religions to divide people or Lucifer. It's all a trick. It's all a trap. Everybody is going to stay at the end of our lives. We're all going to stand in the same line. All of us. And it's the truth. This is Unchained TV. Again, thank you, family. Gordy Green for bringing these videos to my attention. Uh, there might be a part two of this. I'm not sure. But we'll, we'll think of something else. Uh, yeah, this is Unchained TV. The Heavenly Father is always the truth. Baruch Shai out. Let's play that video. 
has his plan for replacing cash, checks, and credit cards with new personalized 666 barcode system were implemented, peace and order began to be re-established. Now, in tonight's program, our great world leader unveils stage two of his plan for the perfect world. The amazing new 666 biochip implant, guaranteeing you physical health and spiritual well-being at the punch of a computer key, plus the guarantee of lifelong security within the new 666 world order. Watch out for 666. Watch out for 666. In a vision of the future, I saw in a vivid dream That the hour is soon coming When men will become machines A new one world order Will rise and then demand That all the world's people Receive their science No. 